Today is May 23rd, which means, as you can see on the screen here, we are getting a Season 1 recap program, a Season Awards Drop 9, a ranked program update, which means Prince Fielder is going to be even more attainable now, and we'll finally be able to get the World Series program pack. And then finally, we get the Moonshot event returning, and an update to the Season 1 collection. What that all means, not too sure yet, because we are a couple minutes away from it going live. But hopefully you guys are here to stay. Make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an update video. And let's get into today's content. New show shop items are available. They better have updated their shit. Okay, we got... Okay. We got two We got two new programs here. No card art is up, updating. All right. So we have Pedro Pajes, Tops Now, Romy Gonzalez. I'm pretty sure these are... Okay, so this is just your typical... Watch McCall with Shota Imanaga with that beautiful card art. Four seam, splitter, slurve, 12 six, two seam. No quirks though, which is interesting. Oh, oh wow, they just suddenly decided to, to update the player shit. So season one recap program. We, we got basically every single pack that came out in season one, which might be a W, 150 program points? Hold up, let's do these collections quick. So if we do these collections, because a lot of these are no sell anyway. Whoa. Wait, seven. Why is it, wait. Is it because what's his face is still like glitched out for most people? Because it says seven, but I think a lot of people have, and I, me included, have not gotten that, uh, is that Rube Foster captain? What it's saying? Holy shit, there's a lot of collections to do. Granted, I don't think they're worth that many points. But oh my god, what have we all gotten so far? We've gotten 5,000 stubs and one of these choice packs. And most of these are no sell anyway. So if you guys are, uh, granted you guys are probably going to have already most of these done. But in case you're watching this when you like are first getting it. Do these collections. It's easy points, especially if you've been keeping up to date with all the programs. This is, this might be a dub just based off of this first initial uh interpretation this might be a dub i i haven't even complete completed all of the collections yet and we're at 25 in the program and we have two extra cards which i can now go and unlock my first xp reward path yeah also just to be clear i'm aware my my camera's off i'm doing this with with purpose so let's see oh my 15 of these oh my god that's crazy that is nuts i might not have to do shit there's a showdown with Satchel Page, bro, there's a ton of missions for these, but I might not have to do any of them. Well, actually, I'm I might have to. I okay, so I'm not gonna be able to do all of Chapter Three yet because I have two more cards I need to unlock. I'm literally two cards short. But we are already at 44. Hey, 44. Gets a cold cut. Gets a cold cut. Gets a cold cut. And then we still have to collect these. Oh. My god, they're basically just giving away packs for free kind of like how fuzzy would say you get a pack You get a pack you get a pack just based off of collections if you've been keeping up with the game granted I will admit because I'm a tryhard and I've been keeping up with shit Not a lot of people are gonna have these collections done But I think that's another thing where it's like they have these missions that can be relatively easily done So I don't think it's the end of the world if you don't have all these collections done it's just a matter of like figuring out how you can best complete this based on what you've done so far. So without even touching a mission and I still have to go through with all of these season one collections yet to do. I am up to 89. Turn my fucking audio off. I'm up to 89 just short of 90 in the in the program, which is fucking crazy. All right. So then the only three I can't do in terms of the season one collections are these three because I have not I haven't unlocked my first pack yet. Oh, that reminds me. What is it that is the, the Season 1 Collections update? I want to go check that out. Oh, they just add they just added, uh... Oh! Oh, so they went in and rewired everything. So, it used to be, or at least to my interpretation, maybe I'm mistaken and I am just not... Smart. I thought maybe it used to be more for these next two packs, but maybe it's not. But they added a home stretch pack in each category as you go up, which is crazy. We're at the 281, by the way. So I might as well go in and collect. I just processed that information. Might as well go in and collect my first choice pack. Let's let's check out the pack inventory real quick. So we have two wait guaranteed headliners. 
I mean, granted, it's only 1 through 10. We have a Season 1 Collection Pack, a 1 Vault Pack, 3 Season 1 Awards Packs, 2 Fresh Starts, 2 Spring Chickens, 2 Pack 1 Pipelines, 1 Pack 2 Pipeline, 2 Show Classics, or sorry, Pack 2 Show Classics, 1 Pack 3 Show Oh my god. And we're going to go back into the program here to see what else we got. So we also have this Showdown, which is worth... 30 what do you all have to do for the showdown you let's see there's one two three four five six seven eight including the final boss so eight mini bosses to do and then it's only a 500 stub entry and once you're done with that you get 30 points towards the season one recaps and let's see where i'm staying right now if i were to do it at this moment in time it would get me to 141 so then honestly, if I collect all of these, or I, actually if I, whoever I take, I can collect that, then do the showdown, and bam, you have 99 Byron Buxton, who let's look at, usually his contact is very low, but honestly, for a 99 Buxton, this is pretty good. The vision is obviously very low, we knew that going into it, but 99 fielding, 95 arm with 99 speed. He might be a candidate, in my opinion, granted the clutch might be a bit low, but he might be someone you could use for one of those uh, wild cards that come up in Season 2 next season. Also, while I'm while I'm getting at it, we're going to go ahead and check out the, the pack shop. Oh yeah, you get a free thing of Moonshot players, which is another 5 Season 1 cards that you can use in the Moonshot event. Speaking of the Moonshot event, is, is it only 99 JD? Oh, that's interesting. So they only have one. They only have one reward. Granted, it's a pretty good reward, but only one. I would have thought because I I saw JD was like 15 wins. I was like, okay, maybe like 20 or 25 is gonna be another one. But no, it's just packs, which I I guess now that I'm saying it out loud isn't like the worst thing in the world because we're gonna be ending season one soon. But like, I don't know. I was expecting it to not be that, I guess. Checking out the ranks program. Higher difficulty missions are added for the second drop. You also have stats like these. We are 10 away from getting Prince Fielder. I'm so excited for that. Granted, he's definitely not statistically the best first baseman in the game, but he's going to be my hero at first base. All right, so honestly, I think what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go ahead and do this uh, Season 1 Recap Showdown. We're going to be facing a righty in the end. So we're going to try and get a switch hitter or lefty if possible. Tony Tarasco or Jazz Chisholm. I got to take Jazz here. I'm a Jazz stan. I'm going to take Cam Collier, if I'm saying that correctly. Chuck Nasty. Christian Yelich, parallel five. Going to go ahead and take O'Neal Cruz just for the vibes. Then here we're going to take... We're going to take Michael Bush. For a Cubs guy, this one pretty much rakes. Now we only have righties, but I feel like Nick Castellanos is like the go-to here. So we got to go there. Eduardo Escobar without a doubt. And then last but not least, oh, Larry Walker would be the move. But I haven't used this George Brett a whole lot yet. So we're going to go ahead and take George Brett. Then we're going to get our perks. And we're going to get started on this showdown. So for this first one here, we have Kodai Senga. We are trailing the game by two runs. And we need to take the lead before recording 15 outs. Oh, my fuck. I know it sounded like veteran or some shit, but George Brett didn't have to do him like that on pitch one. Christian Yelich may be going oppo to win it. Nope, but we are going to get him to second and third with... I don't even know who's up next, to be honest. I'm gonna, I think Chuck Nasty? Chuck Nasty. There we go. That's showdown number one, or I guess uh, mini boss number one completed. Next mission, we have to face Jacob Mis Mizorowski. I don't know why I messed up his name. He's a Brewers player. Trailing by three runs with runners on the corners. We have to take the lead before recording 16 out. So we're going to Miller Park. Oh, maybe. I think Eduardo did it. The former Brewer himself. We have another one done. All right, the next mini boss is facing John Donaldson, and we have all lefties. Trailing by one run, take the lead before recording 14 outs. Oh, dear God. Oh, Michael Bush, lefty, lefty. 112 off the bat. Don't tell me that's not leaving. Thank you. I was I was getting worried because that looks like a pretty deep fence. But mini boss number three is done. Thank God. I don't want to see John Donaldson anymore. All right, the fourth mini boss is facing Hyper Series Corbin Burns. Trailing by four runs with the bases loaded fucking traitor i know it wasn't really his decision i mean it kind of was his decision but like he wasn't the one who made the trade i'm very much aware that i legitimately speaking i love corbin burns 
Um, I'm just a salty Brewers fan seeing him on another team. Okay, yep, could have happened like 15 fucking at-bats ago, but what is this, mini boss number four, I think? Four or five, it's done. All right, Randy Johnson. Oh, at least I have a couple switch hitters. That's, uh, and Nick Castellanos. I guess that's like a, a bright side here. Okay, Yelch did it. We're good. My prediction is the next one we're going to be facing like 90, what was it, 94, 95 Mason Miller. Rowey Fingers, I was close. It was an Athletics closer. Okay, Eduardo Escobar is just him, I guess. Fucking hell. Oh, Brad Miller is 100% the move here. He rakes. All right, back to the showdown here. We are 75% done. We have our last one we need to do. We need to take on Andy Pettit and enter the game trailing by four runs with a runner on third before making 20 outs. And then lastly, we will take on Satchel Page and we will get our 30 program points. No way. No way. 102? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm tired as fuck. I'm tired of Andy Pettit getting outs on me, and I'm also just tired in general. I got up early this morning because my girlfriend uh, kicked me out of the room because she needed privacy for her therapy session, which is obviously very valid, but I was in the midst of a deep sleep, so I was... I was not coherent. Also went to bed pretty late, so I was... It was, it was a bad mixture. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, oh, that left? That left! All right, heading into the Satchel Page final showdown. We need to score two runs before recording 25 outs. I think we'll be fine. Okay, Yelich, tying up the game. And there we go, Brad Miller, he gets the job done. We are done with the showdown. So that gets us a Vault Pack, a Show Classics 3 Pack, Home stretch one pack. Oh my god, there's so much shit. So now we are at 146. We are four points away from completing them, and all we technically need to do is unlock one of these three, and we will have more than enough to get it done. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and open up all these packs we've accrued. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and open the season one moonshots card. So we have the uh John Smoltz, Rob Nan, Jake Arietta, Mariana Rivera. The Johan Santana and Greg Maddox, which I feel like this is a cool concept that they did where it's like they purposefully made shitty, shitty versions of cards. Like they gave Mariano Rivera 32 hits per nine. I don't, like, are these going to be the only pitchers we're able to use? Because like in, in realistically, why would we use someone with such low hits per nine? Granted, like they're common, so like they're not going to be great anyway, but especially 32? Damn. And then before we continue, we're going to actually open up this season one collection pack. Who do I want? I was, I said in a previous video that I was probably going to take Satchel Page, but I don't know the way, the way George Brett's swing was just smooth as fuck. I don't know, but I could honestly use some pitching because I used Jacob DeGrom in my last ranked seasons game when I was at like 838. And I got run rule. So honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll take the pitching. I'll take what I can get. So then we're going to go ahead, lock him into the collection. And then we will officially have completed the season one recap. So we have this 99 Byron Buxton officially unlocked. And just for shiggles, who was the first person to... I went the wrong direction for that. But who was the first person to unlock this... 99 Buxton. It was Rory Flaherty 777. Good for you, bro. Yo! Devin Williams 99, a changeup four seam cutter sinker screwball. Dog, what? We get Jason Bay for the first headliner guaranteed pack. And then for the second one, we get Roman Anthony. Okay. Now for this one, this one might actually be good. Because we have, at worst, a 95, but at the very best, we might be looking at, like, a Garrett Cole type shit. Or, I'll take a Rich Gossage. Something along those lines. It is gold. It looks like Garrett Cole. It's Garrett Cole, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck yeah, baby. Oh my god, I actually love that. I love that so fucking much. Bro, if these ball packs can actually contain heat, this might be the greatest day in all of MLB The Show. 
We got Trevor's story! 99s do exist! Oh my fuck! What in the ass? Let's open up another one. There's no shot. Okay. Okay, so I, I did just get lucky, but like... Bro. Alright, so we have four of these season awards packs. You have to know I'm gonna take all season eight packs. The red, so it's not gonna be Cattell Marte. It's Seth Lugo. And then for the next one, Brandon Nimmo. Second to last of the season drop. It's another Seth Lugo. I swear to fucking God. Can we get Cattell Marte? We got three Seth Lugos! Alright, we're hoping to move on from that. We got the 92 to 89 fresh start pack. And we get the, 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 what's it called? The rare round, that's what it is. I gotta take Corin Burns. I'll use him for the, the Brewers theme team. And then we get the, the base round one last time. The only person I don't have is Michael King. That's fine. Next pack we got is the Spring Chickens pack. I was not a fan of this one. I will be 100% honest. Alec Manoa, I genuinely don't give a fuck. And we, we get a repeat again. How, how much are each of these going for? I, honestly, I really don't care. Quick sell, I need stubs. Pipeline pack one. This one's basically just gonna be collection father. Fodder, father, who art thou in heaven? Pack two, we got some 94s, but again, not really anything I care about. We only got one of these. Joey Ortiz, we're just gonna take someone we don't have. Another season one card. This one, I would be interested in. I, uh, I don't know. I said that originally, but Dustin May won't hold up in, in ranked seasons. He would be something I could use just for the hell of it. I'll take Jorge Soler. I like his card better. We got Casey Mai. So we pull the same round each time. Interesting. And for the pack three, Jesse Winker. I don't, I feel like I packed him a while ago. Maybe not. I already have Hobie Milner. So we're going to take Tyler Stevenson. We get the same round. So we're just going to take Sixto Sanchez. The Mexico City Series pack. I didn't really get to open one of these. Actually, yes, I did. Because I have y Yanir Diaz. I'm stupid. We get 93. I already took Nolan Jones. We're going to take Brenton Doyle. And then we get this Season 1 Captains pack, which I'm definitely 100% going to take this Switch Hitting Captain. This card has been in every ranked seasons game I played for like the last six games. It's my turn to be a Switch Hitting God. Rounding down the last of our packs here, we have the Show 1 Classics pack. We get Taylor Trammell or Mike Soroka. I've heard good things about Mike Soroka. Not really going to use them, though, at this point in the year. The home stretch pack. Am, am I asleep right now? And we also get Garrett Mitchell. I'm going to take the, the Brewers guy. Come on, dude. What, what are we doing? Oh, and I can't see what's in each pack. I feel like the pack two one. I mean, granted, we all have the Paul Skeens one already, but still. And it, it didn't. It it didn't matter okay well i'm probably i don't even want do i want to take the soul series then who's in this pack not really anything crazy i'll still open it though we get the 87s uh we'll take yuki matsui last one i i'll take i'll take pack two again yeah nothing nothing crazy in this one either but this is just gonna be stuff for collections i'll take someone i don't have Cool. Let's go look at the season one collection update and let's see how we do. We are up to 315, so we're going to get a second pack today. That is huge. So for that one, I'm going to take George Brett then. So we're going to have we're going to have the two things that we need desperately. I don't really need outfield help too much. Plus that Willie Mays card is is just not something that is needed right now. So let's go ahead to the main squad and update that. Oh, I forgot we also pulled Garrett Cole. Shit. I mean, Satchel Page bodies him in every fucking way, but let's see. I'll put him in the lineup for now, but obviously Kerry Wood's going to come back after we use him. Oh, yeah, and Byron Buxton. How does he compare to Mookie? Besides the contact, he kind of he kind of does better than Mookie. Well, obviously, because we're in higher ranking, the contact is going to kind of overtake here, but Byron Buxton's still a good card. I'm going to give him... Let's see, they haven't updated the, the new schedule yet. Oh, well, it, they kind of did. Prepare for Season 2. What to expect on June 7th? Progress faster in XP reward path and earn, and earn XP bosses earlier. Complete head start goals now to unlock first wild card slot on day one. Wait. What? How do you complete the head start now? I don't get that. So unless I'm mistaken, that pretty much does it for today's content update. We went through the main thing, or I guess, well, I didn't go through the uh, the actual awards drop itself, but that's 
It's not really the most important thing of them all. Unless I'm crazy. Hold on, actually. Let me, before I, before I make a fool out of myself and miss something. Oh, that's where the 99 Ryan Jeffers comes in. Okay. Whoa! 123 power, 102 power, 101, 106 contact, 107 clutch. Really good defensive stats and your typical speed for a catcher. And they gave us this with two weeks left until it's not eligible. Are we shitting ourselves right now?